Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another squishy tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make this Unicorn Deco Hello Kitty Donut and this is also a collab with Unicorn Princess Mud Puddle and for her video she's going to be showing you how to make a unicorn rainbow block squishy so I'll link her video in the description box below and also please go and subscribe to her channel I will also link that below and thank you so much for collabing with me so yep let's just get started Okay, so I already went ahead and I made the two shapes. And I also drew a line all the way around the donut. And by the way, if you want to know how to make the shape, I will link a video in the description below. So now we can start painting it. So next what I did was I painted half of the donut a light tan colour. And for that I just mixed some white, yellow and a little bit of burnt sienna paint together and then it's up to you what colour you want to do for the other side, I just chose white so now let's move on to the next step so now it is completely up to you how you want to decorate yours I just took this stencil here and I just printed out a um, image of a unicorn and I just cut it out using my craft knife and scissors and I was originally going to use gold paint but I decided just to use this metallic pink colour and basically what I did was I just placed it onto the squishy and I dabbed on the paint so it looks like this but if you find that too challenging you can just paint it on by hand and then for the rest of the donut I just decided just to paint on some stars using the metallic pink And I also wrote sparkle wherever you go. Yes, yeah, so really you can just do whatever design you want. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And also for the bow, I painted it again with the metallic pink, but you can do whatever colour you want. So now we're just going to let this dry and then we can move on to the next step. So here's what the final squishy looks like and the last step is to just glue on the bow. And I really like how it came out. And again, like I said before, you do not have to do the exact same design that I did. You can do something completely different if you want.
and I'm really happy with how the unicorn turned out. I think the stencil worked really well. So, yep, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!